I know my worth is you gon' be with me or not. I got her cheap. Please take back me. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Stank815, and I'm back with another video. Y'all new to this channel, man. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, share, comment. Get notified when I drop these videos. Today, let's speak about relationships, y'all. I know a lot of people going to be pissed. And listen, no, I am not against women. No, I am not targeting women. But I'm going to speak on what I see about women. You know, y'all can feel free to hit me up on um, Facebook at A-L-E-X-A-N-D-E-R-E-Z-I-D-O-R-E. -E -E. uh, man, if y'all want to come on my YouTube and y'all want to talk and get y'all opinion about a situation that happened in y'all life, please feel free to hit me up and we can go live on my youtube channel uh but i'm gonna speak on some stuff here yeah. and i'm gonna tell y'all right now i'm speaking about the ladies right now and we will have conversations about dudes too but right now speaking about ladies and my experience um let me see <laughs> All right, this is gonna be interesting. A lot of people gonna be mad, but so what? I'm, I'm speaking up. But yeah, all right. I'm gonna tell y'all a little situation about that went on in my life. Um, I'm not gonna mention none of the people names, you know, but the situation that went on in my life, most times, how you could tell a woman is either cheating, I'm going to say cheating, and I learned this from a woman. A woman that I was talking to once told me this and was like, okay. Um, I used to go to this girl house, and she called me out one day. And I'm like, man, what you mean? But but listen, I, I used to, that's how you can tell women is cheating. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a buck with you. That phone speak a lot. I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of people talk stuff and a lot of people debate, oh, you don't trust your girl if you go through her phone, this and that. It ain't about trust, you know. I know people that's in relationships and, you know, they let each other see their phones. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, like, if you if you want to see your girl phone, it should be no problem with you seeing your your girl phone and if your girl want to see your phone it should be no problem with her seeing your phone but uh, a lot of people get misunderstood or get stuff situated and they get to acting real funny and crazy but let me tell y'all this my personal opinion about relationships a lot of relationships die because of trust a lot of people don't trust no more. You see, there's a lot of people in relationships that shouldn't even be in relationships because the relationship is broken. It's not even no relationship no more. I was in an unhappy relationship. Trust me, I should have been left the relationship once I knew that individual was out cheating, doing her. I should have left, but I stayed. You know, I ain't gonna lie. I sucked it up. I stayed. You know, ain't nobody perfect. You know, and to this day, I ain't got nothing against her. You know, we don't talk, you know, uh, we try to like speak and still be cool, but hey, it is what it is. People feel some type of way, but that's on them. But a lot of relationships is broken nowadays. You know, it's a lot of people that stay in relationships, I guess, just to say they stay in relationships. I know people that's getting dogged in their relationship, but they still in the relationship. Oh, I love him or I love her or we got a baby or this and that. I'm going to tell you right now, y'all can sit here and talk all this stuff and say, oh, I stay because we got a child or I stay because of this. Most times, you really hurting yourself. You're hurting the relationship. You're not helping or building toward the relationship. You're destroying the relationship even more because first of all, you're, you're destroying yourself. You're staying in a relationship and the relationship is just unhappy, unhealthy. It ain't doing nothing but damaging you and that relationship more. If you love the person, 
you know what? You would get up out of the relationship. You would get out that relationship, man. Like, I got people that I know for real that's in fucked up situations or messed up situations, you know, and I just be looking at them. Me personally, I've been single since 2018, you know. Um, you know, I was in a crazy, like, situation. But, you know, stuff happens, man. And I don't hold no grudges. And I ain't got nothing against nobody. You know, it is what it is, man. But a lot of people sit back and be like, oh, um, well, I'm going to stay with that person because I don't want nobody else to do me like that. Or you know what? First of all, you got to love yourself. And if you love yourself, you'll remove yourself from any situation that ain't the right situation. For real, I don't care if it's your husband, I don't care if it's your wife, I don't care if it's your baby daddy, I don't care if it's your baby mama. Listen, if the relationship is not healthy, ain't nothing wrong with you removing yourself. It's best to remove yourself from a situation that you know is no longer a situation. Let that sink in. But, yeah, man, I mean, we're talking about relationships. I definitely want to hear y'all feedbacks. You know, I got a lot of stuff to talk about. I ain't going to get too deep about it today because I want to, you know, hear what y'all got to say. I know a lot of y'all probably like, dang, you know, um, hold on. Let's speak of a topic. <clears throat> Let's speak of something else, too. Um, I have put a post up on, uh, on Facebook and I see a lot of females on the post, you know, and saying this and that. But, you know, my opinion is my opinion. I believe, you know, you give, I, 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 this is my belief. I believe, like, if you do certain stuff, even though you don't mean no harm as a man or a woman, you know, sometimes people look at it different. Like, if it's a woman that's always on Facebook twerking, or always on social media twerking. What type of images is you putting out? And then y'all get mad when niggas jump in y'all inbox or dudes jump in y'all inbox and be trying to holler and try to fuck. Y'all be like, oh, they thirsty. I wonder why they thirsty. Y'all putting out the image of y'all twerking all on um, social media for the world to see. And you think dudes ain't going to jump in your inbox? Come on now. You know, like, ain't nothing wrong. Like, I'm not saying nothing wrong. I'm saying don't get mad when people jump in your inbox when you putting out this image. Yeah, to the ladies, y'all just having a good time. Y'all don't mean no harm. And I mean, by any means, do what's best for you. I'm not telling you to stop doing what you're doing. I'm not telling you to live life, not live life. But when you twerking, doing all this and that, and you putting the videos on social media, guess what? Dudes is watching. So guess what these dudes is doing? They jumping in y'all inbox. You know, they trying to holler. They trying to, you know what, F. And y'all, oh, this dude thirsty. These dudes thirsty. I wonder why. I don't get it. Like, don't bash the dude for jumping in y'all inbox if y'all putting out that type of energy. I see women all the time on Facebook take pictures, nice pictures. I ain't never seen them with a twerking video. I ain't never seen them this and that. And guess what? They look good. And I'm not saying, you know, hey, y'all got to be that woman. But I'm just saying, Pete, and I'm pretty sure dudes jump in their inbox as well. But you get more attention by the way you explore yourself on the internet. The internet, um, a lot of people see. You know, ain't nothing wrong. A lot of people see that stuff. So, therefore, y'all be getting mad when dudes be jumping in y'all inbox trying to holler or trying to F y'all. But you really can't get mad because it's the image you putting out. Don't put that image out if that ain't the type of energy you want. You know, like, I don't get that. That's like me. You know, if I put out a certain type of image, guess what? A certain type of woman going to try to holler, you know? Or majority, you know, we got to start doing better as human beings and people, 
you know, like, and not only that, a lot of people be like, a lot of people think it's okay, but our children watch our every move and watch what we do on the internet. And, you know, like, we got to watch. It's little kids out there that look up to certain people, you know, and we, we play a big impact in certain people's lives on how their lives come out and how they act, you know. Uh, for instance, you know, a lot of people bashing Sexy Red, talking about she destroying the youth. Me personally, it's, it's sad, but it's music. It's sad when a three-year-old or a four-year-old talking about ski or um, when you you know, you know, like it's sad when they want to hear that over other type of music, especially little kids. You know, grown people cool, but you got us as parents, we got to do better. That's all I'm gonna say. You know, like the world is like getting crazy by the day. Relationships don't hold no value no more. It seems like all people want to do nowadays is, you know, see what they can get out of a person. It's really no more love and loyalty and relationships no more. You know, like back in the days, I remember people used to be together 10, 20, 30, 40 years. You know, they, they marriage might not have been happy, but guess what? You wouldn't know it because they wouldn't show it. You know, their marriage could be completely destroyed, but guess what? They still walk around like everything was cool. But nowadays, um, a lot of kids growing up without a mother in their life, a lot of kids growing up without a father in their life, you know? And it's sad because we putting out an image that's not right. And the next generation is going to be messed up, you know, like even with Social media, social media, hey, it's destroying us. I don't care what nobody say. Social media is destroying the heck out of us. But I want to get on relationship topics with somebody. So I hope somebody, I, I hope, I don't care if it's a dude or a girl, but I hope somebody hit me up. You can hit me up on Instagram too. On Instagram is S-T-A-N-K-815 underscore. Man, you can hit me up on Instagram, tell me you want to go live on my YouTube channel, and we can go live on YouTube and talk about it, and uh, talk about, like, what's going on in the world, uh, or whatever, man, but I, I was going to give y'all a story about my life, and I am going to give y'all a story about, like, certain situations that happened in my life, but I want to hear y'all opinion about how y'all feel about relationships. How y'all feel about um, the generation and how it's headed? My generation, hey, we got to get it together too. You know, we older, but guess what? We still want to be 18, 19, 20. You know, like we got to guide our kids still right so they can guide their kids right. You know, but it's the, the older generation want to be all in the club, which is, hey, do what you do if that's what you want to do, but be a leader, be a father figure, be a mother, you know, ain't nothing wrong with going to the club, but carry yourself right, you know, especially if you got little kids looking up to you, you know, and another thing, on my next topic, I'm going to get into it, I know I'm going to get a lot of backlash, but I'm going to get into it about women getting their bodies done. <laughs> I put a post up on uh on uh my Facebook and a lot of people charmed in and I can tell a lot of people was upset but I'm gonna get my opinion but I want y'all opinion on about relationships and what goes on. Uh have y'all had any messed up relationships? Uh what's the longest relationship you've been in? I think mine was about I've been in a relationship probably over like eight years. Yeah, I've been in a relationship for about eight years. And I actually was faithful <laughs> in the relationships. Like I'm not I'm not the type that's gonna cheat on you. I'm gonna be honest. I can I can be faithful, but I don't play no games. I'm I'm more mature now. When I was younger, 
If I find out you were cheating on me, heck yeah, I wouldn't have cheated right back. I didn't even let you know I, I knew you were cheating. But that ain't the way to do it. You know, now I'm older and I'm mature. I don't play them games, you know. I know what I want out of life. I'm looking for a woman that I can deal with, that we can really do the things. Like, I like going places. I like doing stuff. I don't got time for bull crap. I don't, I don't, I don't want that type of stuff. If you, if you still wanna be like for the streets, be for the streets. And I'm not saying um, I want a woman that's gonna be in the house doing this and that. No, I want you to live your life by all means, but I want you to live your life with me too as well. I wanna go to trips together. I wanna do movie nights, date nights. Um, if, if we got. Our kids is young or whatever, and you know stuff with the kids. I like that type of stuff. I like I enjoy stuff doing. I mean I enjoy doing stuff with my woman. A lot of people don't enjoy doing stuff with their other. But I mean with they better have, and that's how. That's how come relationships are destroyed nowadays. Everybody out for self, man. It's a lot of selfish people in their relationships, man. Uh, um, it's just sad how everything turning out. But, man, this your boy, Stank815, man. I appreciate y'all listening to me. Y'all let me know about y'all relationships and how y'all feel about this generation. Um, And if y'all want to go live with me on my YouTube channel, y'all let me know so we can get it cracking. Um, but, yeah, y'all be safe. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm going to get deeper and deeper next time. Y'all let me know if y'all want to hear about... Uh, Y'all leave them comments and y'all let me know how y'all want, if y'all want to hear about um, a relationship I was in where I was living with this person and the whole time I was living with the person, she was out doing her, man. She was out doing her and we was living together. So y'all let me know uh, if y'all want to hear about that. I ain't going to mention nobody names, but y'all let me know.